With nations worldwide having already picked their strategic priorities, the European aerospace and defence sector is under pressure not to lose the race. With the newly elected European Parliament in place, European policymakers and industry have the unique opportunity to collectively outline the EU's priorities for the next five years and beyond, including a long-term strategy for Europe's industrial future. The European aerospace and defence sector supports 844,000 direct jobs and contributes to the European economic development with over 222 billion euros of total turnover, and it is one of the EU strategic sectors. It secures Europe's strategic autonomy, leadership, technological sovereignty, and ultimately contributes to European citizens' welfare in a competitive environment. Europe's robust industrial strategy should follow a sectorial approach involving the three components of the sector – aeronautics, defence and space – to ensure cross-fertilisation among them. Innovation will allow air transport to produce less emissions, improve air traffic management, reduce noise pollution and allow for safer and more reliable aircraft. Innovation is the driver for all space activities, ranging from science and exploration to commercial application, as well as new defence technologies, providing for European citizens' security. The EU should reinforce its space ambitions and ensure European access to space, sustain and improve EU space flagship programmes Galileo and Copernicus, and develop new programmes such as secured telecommunications. When it comes to its defence policy, the EU should support the European industrial base and increase integration of European defence ambitions by boosting defence spending and collaborative EU defence initiatives. Promoting dual-use technologies is a guarantee for faster innovation and competitiveness. Europe must deploy the necessary resources to assist its businesses in transforming their industrial processes and mastering the digital revolution and management of data. This has to involve the support for Europe's workforce through the adaptation of educational programmes, vocational trainings and skills development. A workforce characterised by a strong digital literacy, cross-functional performance, fast adaptability to transformation or preserving traditional craftsmanship and conventional engineering disciplines is vital for European industry. Looking to the future requires Europeans to make bold, courageous and proactive decisions. The industry stands ready to support the European institutions in this path.